I think that Zach Cunningham is going to play a very big role in this game that's coming up tomorrow. Uh, I think that really, I mean, I think he's one of the more underrated players in the NFL right now. I feel like he should get talked about more. I think most people outside of Houston don't even know who he is, but he's a really good player, a really talented player, and I especially think the way that Buffalo runs their offense, he could have a huge impact, and I'll show you what I mean with this play. What Buffalo is going to do here is that they're going to have their left tackle and also tight end block those two Dallas Cowboys who are right over there, and they're actually going to pull two Buffalo players over to the left side of the screen. They're going to pull their left guard and their center all the way over there, they will block the other two Dallas Cowboys who are in the area. One of them, a linebacker, who will run into that area. He's not in there yet, but he will run over there, and that's why the center will pull over and block him. So then for Buffalo, there still is another linebacker, Jalen Smith, in the area. And so what they're going to do is have their right guard just move up straight up to block him. So makes some sense. And as you see, he moves up, gets there quickly, gets in position quickly. And now for Smith, I mean, there's not really a lot he can do right now. If he does get around this block, it would be great news, but he does not. He gets blocked very far back, and because of that, now they're easily able to gain a ton of yards on that play. That's kind of the risk-reward of not double-teaming as much and having guys just straight up move up to block linebackers is if it works out, it can work out really well, and Buffalo really likes to do this. They like to do this so that way they might end up getting a lot of two-yard runs, but then they will get that eight-yard run, that ten-yard run that they like to have. You can debate all you want over what's the better strategy or what isn't, but the reality is that's what they like to do. So now, what do you do if you're going up against a team who likes to have guys just run out to straight up block linebackers? Well, there's several things you can do, one of which actually has nothing to do with the linebackers, and it's if the interior linemen or even defensive ends can do a good job of sort of disrupting that. Like on this one, the center, right guard, and right tackle each have one-on-one -on -one matchups, and it is going to be a run following that direction. So... Okay, you know, if everyone can make their blocks, this could end up being a bad thing for the Dallas Cowboys and a good thing for Singletary. However, on this play, if you notice, the right guard really can't get out here because both of Dallas's defensive linemen did a great job of sort of pushing towards the middle of the screen. And they're kind of in the way here, it's kind of just a log jam. And this is going to free up Smith to do whatever he wants. From there, Smith actually does a pretty great job of staying with Singletary. He ends up making a tackle, and so... That's one of the key ways you can beat this Buffalo Bills team, and one of the key ways you can beat their offense is if you can just do a good job of having your linebackers make sure they can be free so that way they can make those tackles. Buffalo understands their talent level, and they realize they don't necessarily have the fastest halfbacks who can outrun some of these fast linebackers in the NFL, and so what they do to counteract that is have guys go out to block the linebackers, but you have to make sure that you can get up to block them because if you can't, that can leave a guy free, and that's how tackles can happen. So for Houston and for their defensive linemen, that is absolutely something that they should really be trying to do. I mean, you know, obviously they should be trying to disrupt that play, but, you know, make an even more conscious effort to try to disrupt those types of plays against the Bills. And another key thing about this Buffalo Bills team is the fact that they kind of have the mindset of, Okay, well, if we can get the linebackers to move around, that means that when we run play action, then they should be sort of out of position because they're used to having to move in and try to, you know, get around these uh, offensive linemen, trying to get there quickly because there are offensive linemen coming at me to block me. So therefore, when it comes to play action, sometimes they'll move too far in or even move over and get out of position, which can allow good things to happen. And this play is a great way to take advantage of that. It's actually not play action, but it's sort of, Similar idea of what I'm talking about where it's going to be a cover one hole and they have a receiver running that route right there, which is a route that can be pretty effective against this coverage with the exception of what Smith is going to do. Smith is a guy who's going to be in the way and could potentially make this play, so it's all going to really be up to him and making sure that he stays in position. And that's what he does on this play. I know it would be a little bit different if it was play action, but... Even with it not being play action, just the Bills run the ball so much, you are, always, you are just always worried about it being a potential run. But he does a great job of staying back, staying in position. Josh Allen is looking to hit that receiver right there. That's his first read, but he just can't do it because Smith did a great job of playing this one. And because Smith then just does a great job of dropping back into coverage, now Allen has nowhere to throw the ball to. He's going to instead go to a second read and try to throw the ball deep in classic Josh Allen fashion. It doesn't fall complete, and that's really just what you can do to counteract the Bills liking to have guys move up and block linebackers, you know? Have your defensive linemen make sure that they can not allow that offensive lineman to get out. 
You can also do things like, you know, like that. Make sure that you don't fall for play action. But there also is one more key thing. And it's one of the key things that actually Cunningham is brilliant at. And that's just simply getting around the offensive lineman who has moved up to try and block you. Like on this play, for example, what they're going to do is they're going to have a center start off blocking that defensive lineman just for a quick second. But then it'll actually be the guard who's going to just pull over a little bit and he'll block him. The center's just going to help him get in position. And then the center will move up to block Cunningham. So it's not quite exactly just a straight up move up to block him, but it's pretty close. So as you see, he does in fact get in pretty good position to try and block Cunningham. He gets up to that second level relatively quickly. He definitely is in a good position to try and make this block. So if you are Cunningham, you are like, okay, I'm in a little bit of trouble here. I have to do something here. I can't just try to run into him. I have to try to find a way to make this work. And so watch how he just slips around him and is able to run in. And, you know, he didn't really, he wasn't really the guy who made this tackle, but I think that still just goes to show what he can do and how if you do send offensive linemen out to block him, that doesn't guarantee that he's going to be blocked. And that's why I think Cunningham is going to be such a huge key in this football game is he is so good at getting around those offensive linemen who move up to the second level to block him. And because of that, he could be great against the Buffalo Bills who like to do that. And not to mention, he still is fast enough that you can't really try to go sideline to sideline against him. And the fact that he's like 18 feet tall, that obviously also helps. If Houston can do things like that consistently, I could see a lot of two-yard rushes. And the reality is, if there's a lot of two-yard rushes with this Buffalo Bills offense, I just don't know if I trust Josh Allen to convert a lot of third down and sixes. I really don't. That's just my own opinion. And... It, by the way, the Bills like to run the ball get them out, even though they don't necessarily have an elite running game. I don't know if they trust Josh Allen to, to convert those types of third and sixes or even third and eights, third and tens. So I think that that is going to be the key is if Buffalo can get some solid runs, they can at least just find some ways to put points on the board. And I think that's the main goal with this Bills team is they're saying, hey, we got a great defense on offense. Let's not screw it up and then just try to get a few good plays so that way we can put some points on the board. That's kind of their mindset. But I just don't know how effective they can truly be at it. Again, here's one last play of Cunningham. Just really just, again, showing what he can do. It's going to start off as a double team, but then one of them will move up to block Zach Cunningham. And after the ball is snapped, you'll notice that the offensive lineman is in pretty good position right here. I mean, he is ready to try to block Cunningham. Both guys are in a solid situation, so he can just run up knock him out of the way, and they can gain some yards. Pretty simple. However, again, watch Cunningham's footwork right here. He just slips by him and is able to run over and make a tackle. Very simple, but very effective. And those small things really do mean a ton in a game of football. I mean, those little things really do add up, and I think that could end up being the difference in this game if, if Buffalo can't figure out a way to get Zach Cunningham out of their hair. There's a reason this guy ended up with 142 combined tackles. It's because he's a monster. I mean, not only can he do things like that, but it also helps that he's 6'4". So the fact that he doesn't really have to worry too much about getting drawn in from play action because him taking one step back and all of a sudden, you know, he's covering like twice as much ground as maybe a 5'10 linebacker is. I do feel like the one bright side is maybe that, you know, Houston doesn't necessarily have a ton of great tacklers, so I do think that if you can't get to the second level and maybe just try to go away from Cunningham and try to just avoid him at all costs, that's what I would do if I was Buffalo, but it's hard to completely go away from a linebacker. You know, they're going to find ways to get into the play, so they're going to have their hands full trying to get around Cunningham, and we'll see what he can do and if he can really have a huge impact, because I think that the game is almost going to be just as much on his shoulders as the offense is just as much on Watson's shoulders. I, I think it's almost that degree. I think he's going to have to be the star, but I think he can be. I really do. Houston's in an interesting position, but I really like Zach Cunningham, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do against the Bills, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the Bills do to try to counteract that. So a lot of fun to talk about with Wild Card Weekend starting tomorrow. Pretty exciting. Uh, I know I'm looking forward to it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, Thanks for watching.